For you to have clicked on this video, you must be one of those trying to know more about the Guinness World Records, or you want to break a record, well I can boldly say you are on the right channel. Firstly, I must say that you must be determined and bold enough to try what seems impossible to many people. So now let's begin. On August 27, 1955, the first edition of The Guinness Book of Records is published in Great Britain. It quickly proves to be a hit. Now known as the Guinness World Records, the annual publication features a wide range of feats related to humans and animals. The inspiration for the record book can be traced to November 1951, when Sir Hugh Beaver, managing director of the Guinness Brewery, founded in Dublin in 1759, was on a hunting trip in Ireland. After failing to shoot a golden plover, Beaver and the members of his hunting party debated whether the creature was Europe's fastest game bird, but were unable to locate a book with the answer. Thinking that patrons of Britain's pubs would enjoy a record book which could be used to settle friendly disagreements, Beaver decided to have one produced. He hired twin brothers Norris and Ross McWhirter, the founders of a London-based agency that provided facts and statistics to newspapers and advertisers. The book was intended to be given away for free in pubs to promote the Guinness brand. However, it turned out to be so popular the company started selling it that period, and it became a bestseller. An American edition debuted in 1956 and was soon followed by editions in a number of other countries. The McWhirters traveled the globe to research and verify records. Ross McWhirter was involved in compiling the book until his death in 1975 at the hands of Irish Republican Army gunmen. His brother Norris continued to serve as the book's editor until 1986. If you are planning to apply for the Guinness World Record, here are the application procedures. Step 1. Type GuinnessWorldRecords.com in your browser. Step 2. Read through the information available in their records section on the website. Step 3. Log in or register in order to access the record database. Step 4. Find the record you would like to attempt. If the record is active and accepting applications, it will have an Apply Now button. Please select this if it sounds like the record you wish to attempt. You will be taken to an online application form. If you can't find the record you want to apply for after searching, then you can suggest a new record title by scrolling to the bottom of the search results page and selecting the Apply for a New Record Title button. Step 5. Complete and submit the form. When filling in the form, you can choose if you want to purchase a priority application, which means you will receive your guidelines in five working days. Don't forget charges may apply. A standard application will take up to 12 weeks to receive your guidelines and sometimes longer if there is a high demand. Please check the current waiting periods to get up-to-date information on waiting times. Step 6. If your application is accepted, you will receive the record guidelines and next steps. And don't forget you also have the option of inviting an adjudicator. An adjudicator is a person who acts as a judge in a competition. There's nothing quite like the presence of an official Guinness World Records judge to create a sense of prestige, attract media, and enhance the emotional connection between your brand and audience. When you invite an adjudicator you benefit from 1. A fully account-managed service that will complete your application form and evidence requirements. 2. Get planning straight away, which is the immediate processing of your application and receipt of your record guidelines. 3. Full explanation of your guidelines to increase the likelihood of a successful outcome. 4. In the moment verification of your record attempt success, which is essential for audience and media engagement. 5. Photo opportunities for press announcements with an official Guinness World Records certificate presentation. 6. Maximize awareness, excitement, and media coverage before and after with license of the official attempt logo and official record holder logos. 7. Make your official record event look the part by producing branded t-shirts and banners with the official Guinness World Records wordmark and official attempt logo. This benefits are subject to terms and conditions of use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Amplified Encyclopedia to get more interesting facts and updates each time we post a new video.